All right, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. Barry Sanders uh, reacts to Calvin Johnson, uh, you know, wanting his signing bonus money back from the Detroit Lions. And then, you know, he had come back and be an ambassador for the franchise. And Barry Sanders gives his two cents on it. He went through the same thing, to be exact. Barry Sanders said that when he retired abruptly in 99, the Lions came back for some of his signing bonus money so he can relate. And uh, we back, Motor City Sports Talk. Appreciate everybody for ta ta uh, tapping in with your boy. We working, all right? And uh, Sanders said it's tough. Sanders said after playing in the Pro-Am of the PGA Tours, Rocky Mortgage Classic at Detroit Golf Club, each case is different. Um, he says that, uh, you know, it goes on to say Johnson retired unexpectedly after the 2015 season. When he made his retirement official, the Lions forced him to repay a seven-figure portion of, of the $16 million, uh, signing, $16 million signing bonus he received four years earlier. Okay, four years. All right, and I'll link the article to the description. He goes on to say, Barry, hey, that's a tough check to write, Sanders said, about uh, repaying the bonus money. In the NFL, you realize it's a business, and they have to handle things on their side of it the way that they do. So I don't have any advice other than I think over time, then you'll probably see the two sides come together. You think they may be able to reach some agreement, but um, I wish Calvin well. we love to have him back around, especially the fans, what have you. So pretty much Barry is pretty much an ambassador for the Lions. Now, if you ask Barry, and he still had a bad relationship with the Lions, and you know Barry basically was like, F them, Barry would have gave you not a political answer. And I don't think it was so political, man. He basically like shit. I took that L too. But eventually over the course of time, you know, I came back in the fold because the city of Detroit, I'm beloved there and shit. He's one of the greatest athletes we had. But my two cents on it, he ain't trying to get in nobody else's business. And that's the way it should be. That's another man's business. But um but that is the business. But until the NFL players, and I'm about to take this a whole different play uh, way. Until the NFL players stop acting like, oh, that's just the way it is. You know what uh, Run DMC say, say? It's like that, and that's the way it is. NFL players, the CBA coming up, they got to get that mentality out the way. The Y'all get paid like 117% more. Don't quote me on that number. More than the NBA, or it's, it's something like that. They get paid like 70% more, 100% more than the NBA, and the NBA get 117% more uh, money than they do. And so they, basically what I'm saying, those guesstimated quotes, I can't remember the exact numbers, but... My point is this, until they get that, it's like that, and it's the, way it, it's the way it is, mentality out the way, until they knock walls down and break those barriers down and get what they rightfully deserve when they got the most physical sport out there, but they're the number one uh, sport in America, most televised sport, until they get a larger piece of the pie and they get out that mentality, then, hey, it's just gonna be, it is going to be like that. So they got to bond together and get a better deal, not only for the current players, but the past players. They got to get on better pensions. And when I heard Eric Dickerson come on uh, Fox and he said that, you know, uh, Deacon Jones, you know, before he passed, the great uh, L.A. Raider defensive end said his pension was like $250 a month. Like, get the hell up out of here. Somebody that, that built the foundation of the NFL, yeah, the Lions should play Barry Sanders, uh, Calvin and Barry. He deserves his money, too. And maybe you work a deal out where he makes so many appearances and you pay his money back over the time for making those appearances. You know what I'm saying? You come back and every time you show up to an appearance or every time you, you know, maybe we make you an a, a ambassador to the club and you, uh, you know, you, 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 you take, you know, executives around and potential investors and around or you, you get the w rookies under your wing and, you know, anytime somebody new comes to the franchise, you come woo them and we'll give you, you know, whatever we took. I heard it was like a million dollars. We'll give it to you over an increment of time and we'll continue to pay you to be in that role as well. Or you do a signing bonus, you get half the money now and then, you know, over the course of your first calendar year working as some type of uh, ambassador advisor, we get the other half of the money, man. That's how they should do it, man. Both safe face. Calvin get a little job where he can, you know, and he here now and again, you know, warn people that come into the franchise and to, to the building and he welcome in the rookies and potential free agent prospects and show them how great this, the organization, the town is. That's how I would do it. But you know what, Barry, like that's that man business. He handle it how you handle it. I'm pretty sure they'll work it out. And that's what it is, man. I'll link the article in the free press in the description. Appreciate everybody for tapping in. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email if you have a business question, acquire responsive video request. Keep sharing the videos. Y'all know what the business is one time for the one time. Motor City Sports Talk, we gone.